Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and honeygirlsworld.com. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Honey and I am the face that you see around here most of the time. Um, if you guys have been here a while and you know, you're OG, then welcome back you guys. Thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm coming to you guys with a little, I don't know if you would consider this a haul or a review, um, but about three weeks ago, I, yet again for like the 50th time, seen another, um, Glamnetic advertisement via Facebook, via Instagram, and I finally decided that I would go ahead and pick me up a set. I've heard of Glamnetic before, but I did not have very good um, results with magnetic lashes. And it's not necessarily the magnetic ones with the really thin liner like Glamnetic has. It, it was actually the gel liner that comes in a pot that you have to apply with the brush the thick cream gel liner that Ardell has and while I love the lashes I did not like applying the liner so I really didn't look into any others um, and then of course Glamnetic kept coming up and I decided that I would go ahead and buy um, and test it out for myself I ordered the vegan volume collection it originally and I'm looking at my computer right here so I apologize if I keep looking away um, it originally retails for hundred eighty seven dollars and ninety four cents and I paid a hundred and forty nine ninety nine plus there was a discount code at that time so it came up to about 125 um, the vegan volume collection includes five pairs of lashes as well as a magnetic liner and this particular collection is got all vegan magnetic lashes it includes um, they're supercharged lashes made from high quality synthetic fibers including for ultra dramatic styles you have cat eye vibe semi wispy viral crisscrossed round lash which is vacay um, the super wispy va va voom and the collection is finished with venus which is their more natural looking winged lash plus you get a magnetic liner um so you know for me i thought this would be really good each lash includes six magnets on it, which I also think is good as well. You can trim it down. I haven't had the need to trim down any of them. It's just where I place it. And as I talk through these, I will be inputting some clips of me actually applying the lashes that I have on. So I'm going to go ahead and get in. Um, that's that one that I have here. This particular lash that I'm using is Venus. It is my favorite. Um, they state that Venus is the more natural looking winged lash. It is my favorite to use out of all of them, though I've gotten um, a lot of different uses from many of them. I've had these now for, I would say about three weeks and before they came in I wanted to try different lashes so I actually went and I picked up um, this is my thing I which I really really like the holographic I picked up I guess I don't have it I picked up another lash from kiss um, that was not the stacked lash where you have to put the bottom magnetic and then the top magnetic and sandwich your original lashes in between I picked up the liner one and I actually am impressed with that um, for $17 for one lash and a um, eyeliner is not too bad but I really wanted to try something along these lines I didn't get a chance to try anything from moxie lash or any of those other brands so I figured that I would test out Glamnetic and see what it's all about and so far I've been liking them I'm gonna go ahead and show you the lashes that I have um, this particular lash is vacay 
and that's what that looks like here this is one of my favorites and one that I use all the time I will go ahead and input pictures of different ones that I have been using and trying um, I really like the container of it it kind of has a magnetic like suction right here as you close it which is awesome I also like the fact that if you take a look at this one from Venus since I'm wearing it it has a whole strip of magnet here for you to apply the lashes so I've been able to store the lashes very easily and very nicely without any issue um, and then of course you guys know I love that holographic iridescent kind of thing going on so I enjoyed that so vacay um, this one here is Va Va Voom. I've only used it once and not to go out. It literally was to try and test it out. Um, and that is what that looks like here. Very, very, um, oh, how do they describe this one? Va Va Voom, super wispy. It's much more than just wispy. It's very, very long on me. Not everyday wearable. Definitely great for like a night out um then we have vibe and i have been getting a lot of use out of vibe as well and i've been throwing these on every day it's been making me feel really glamorous and i've been loving it and then viral which is another one that i've been loving here so i've been using these they are super expensive um like I said, I had picked up the Kiss one, which was the kit. It came with a lash and the magnetic liner for about $17. I got it from CVS and then I went back and picked up one from Ulta. Um, I think that, and I can do a review on those as well. I think that if you are looking to try magnetic lashes and you want to try something out, I would suggest trying with those. Um, these were definitely an investment. You're looking at the lashes. Let me just pull out the um, thing. So each lash is about $30. But you are supposed to get um, Okay, let's take a look here. It doesn't say. Give me one second. So good up to 40 uses if you properly take care of them. And the eyeliner does stay on really well. I actually wore my lashes for over eight hours one day, went out about, cleaned house, did all of those things and it lasted. I'll try to input clips if I still have them because I wanted to make sure that I filmed. Um, so overall, I think that they last very well. Application is super easy. They tell you you want to go ahead and measure and cut your magnetic lash to fit your eye. Luckily, I haven't had the need to do that. You, you want to shake your magnetic liner and then apply directly to your lash. Um, you adhere the lashes to the liner by just sticking it on, which you'll see in the clip here. And good to go you want to cleanse and remove the magnetic liner with an oil-based makeup remover I have been using my micellar water and I use the one that's for waterproof and it takes it off really easily I just wet it on a q-tip and then kind of rub it over my line and it takes it off fairly easy um, I haven't been using any lash it I mean any mascara on my top lashes or curling because I find that it kind of sticks to my natural lash if I do do that um, I haven't had any sensitivities to my eyelid or anything like that which I'm absolutely loving it's kind of allowing me to <clears throat> apply the liner and be good to go I develop allergies to lash adhesive which is why I stopped using regular eyelashes with or strip lashes for quite some time because the eyelash adhesive would cause my eye sensitivity I did actually pick up one that was aloe based so that I could use it from KISS and that's been definitely working but I still decided that I didn't want to keep using that and then causing me any type of sensitivities. So for me, this has been working so far. Um, I will tell you 
that the ingredients on the eyeliner and probably the reason why it's magnetic is the iron oxides it's got water dimethicone and stuff like that so usually it's the iron oxides that allow it to have that magnetic base and that's why that's that um, they are designed in the United States in Los Angeles and made in PRC um, or at least the eyeliner is and so far I haven't had any issues so I will tell you it is quite an investment $150 without a discount code because it is currently on sale but overall I have been enjoying it and I do like it so I highly suggest checking it out if you have a little bit of money or you want to splurge on yourself I'm loving mine right here in this clip i'm actually going in removing the original eyelashes i had on and i'm applying the eyelash vibe which happens to be one of my favorite very dramatic lashes I apply super easy it stays pretty much all day i wouldn't consider this waterproof at all um it can smudge although it does stay all day and then the lashes stay all day and i haven't had any issues so that's that one here Overall, I really enjoy these Glamnetic lashes. They are, like I said, an investment, but I like them. Um, I will continue to talk story with you guys about other lashes um, that I've tried. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but I wanted to share with you. And um, if you've tried Magnetic lashes before, comment down below and let me which ones. Let me know which ones you enjoy and yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the like button and hit the notification button all on your way out i hope you guys are having an awesome and most wonderful day and i'll talk to you all soon bye guys